students will be on winter break soon. So what do you do? Where do you go? We can start on Lindell and Bolivar in Forest Park. Let's ask Lindsay Newton of the Missouri Historical Society. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Well, first, what do you have planned for the kids? So here at the Missouri History Museum in Forest Park every year, we offer winter getaway. This year, the dates are starting Tuesday, December 28th through Friday, December 31st. Events start at 1030 every morning and they are free. There's all sorts of hands on activities. There are live music performances because, of course, we've got our St. Louis Sound exhibit up right now that talks all about the history of music in St. Louis. So the Sheldon will be here performing jazz. A band called Samba Bomb will be here performing Brazilian music. Again, arts and crafts throughout the week. And on Friday, New Year's Eve, we are having a New Year's party for families where we'll have a countdown to noon for those of us who, who don't always stay awake late at night. And that's really oh, important because yeah. a lot of kids, they just cannot, <laughs> they just can't, neither can <laughs> their parents. Um, but you honor Josephine Baker along with the nation of France. How will the museum continue to honor her? You know, Josephine Baker, you're seeing some images on the screen from our St. Louis Sound exhibit. She is featured prominently in this exhibit talking about the music history of St. Louis. And yes, recently she was honored by France, sort of the country's highest honor. She was um, inducted into the Pantheon, which is um, just, just such an honor that someone from St. Louis who was proud to be from St. Louis um, is recognized on such a global level. So we encourage you to come out and see St. Louis Sound anytime this month and, and visit some of the artifacts from Josephine Baker. And what else do you guys have ready for this month? Well, we also have Thursday nights at the museum. Tomorrow night, we will be showing Meet Me in St. Louis, which is always a popular movie for St. Louisans this time of year. There'll be a sing-along, Ballet 314 will offer pop-up performances of their, their production of the Nutcracker set at the 1904 World's Fair. You'll also hear some caroling and have an opportunity to roast s'mores by the fire. At the end of the month, on Thursday, December 30th, we have an early New Year's Eve party, the Arcadia Dance Orchestra, which is an 11-piece um, 1920s style hot jazz band. They'll be performing, and it's an opportunity to, to sort of celebrate New Year's Eve prohibition style. The band leader, T.J. Muller, will be sharing stories about New Year's Eve celebrations during prohibition in the 1920s in St. Louis. Um, so it's a really neat opportunity to come out and learn more about St. Louis history and hear some great music. And it's so going to be like a different us. house every day and every night. I see that. Yeah. We will have links at fox2now.com. Lindsay Newton, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.